I, this is Little Dwarf, playing games while rambling incoherently into a microphone. Why? Well, just because they can, and they continue with Gothic 2, Knight of the Raven. I'm heading to Xardas' tower to activate the, the Claw of Beliar, so that I can use it in my quest of being a total psycho. Okay, at least they didn't kill steal my experience, which is what I was mostly concerned with. And as you can see, Lester is now here, because I told him to go and talk to Xardas. Hey, ty! Rozmawiałeś już z Lesterem? Tak. Zasypałem go pytaniami. Dużo się od niego dowiedziałem. Jest teraz kompletnie wyczerpany. To prawdziwy cud, że w ogóle przeżył tę ucieczkę. Kazałem mu trochę odpocząć. Czego się od niego dowiedziałeś? Niestety niczego dobrego. Nie dość, że widział smoka, to spotkał też ludzi w czarnych kapturach. To takie ważne? Jeśli ci ludzie rzeczywiście istnieją, będą dla nas poważnym zagrożeniem. Niepokoi mnie to. Proszę, weź mój pierścień. Będzie cię chronił przed magią. Now this is actually a cool piece of foreshadowing about what's, what's going to happen in the next chapter. Przeszukałem nieznaną część wyspy. Z jakim rezultatem? Wszystko wydaje się obracać wokół potężnego artefaktu znanego jako szpon Beliara. Szpon Beliara? Gdzie on jest? Masz go przy sobie? Owszem. To bardzo ciekawe. Ta broń może się nam bardzo przydać. Jest jednak niezwykle niebezpieczna. Zachowaj ostrożność i pod żadnym pozorem jej nie zgub. Hmm. So I guess he doesn't tell me directly what to do, but basically what I need to do is pray to Beliar, and there are only two shrines of Beliar in the Hall of Corinis, and one is here, so the trip is still kind of worth, worth it. Difficult to steal his purse. I'm going to do it anyway. Pomysł z Konstantinem był dobry. Strażnicy mnie przepuścili. No, tak jak mówiłem, słuchanie moich rad może ci tylko wyjść na dobre, przyjacielu. Ciągle zmęczony? I to jak? Ach, powiedziałem Xardasowi wszystko, co wiem. Teraz muszę się trochę zdrzemnąć. Jeden dzień powinien wystarczyć. No, góra dwa. Ok. Let's go and pray to Beliar then, to activate the claw. Uh, the claw is unique because it uh, it is either a two-handed weapon or a one-handed weapon, depending on which level of skill is higher for you, so that it it changes its form to suit your needs better. So, for the first time you activate it, mm, it takes 40 of your hit points, permanent ones, away, which I'm not sure if that's worth it like in the end, uh, but again, this is not a playthrough that's supposed to show the best optimized character or like the strongest character, it's just, it's just me doing whatever. Uh, so, can I... Mm, I guess it upgrades automatically to, to the highest level possible now, because mm, basically from time to time you can upgrade it and its its damage and the chance of extra damage upgrade with it. As you can see, it's a little bit weaker than my current weapon, but mm, it's also longer, uh, which gives me more reach, and the extra damage is literally a hundred, so every four strikes, uh, roughly speaking, uh, it is going to basically do 200 damage as opposed to 100. So it, it is overall better than my current weapon. And it is going to get even better still uh, when I upgrade it. Because every couple levels you can 
pray to Beliar and upgrade it further. So with that done, I think I'm set to go, actually to go to the Valley of the Mines, because that's my current objective. Uh, it has been a while since I have talked to, uh, to Lord Hagen, but basically he requires proof that the army of the dragons is real before he relinquishes the Eye of Innes. Uh, so that's what I am about to do, basically. Um, although before I enter the, the, the Valley of the Mines itself, there is a small plateau filled with monsters nearby, and I should be strong enough to clear it now. There is a bunch of stone tablets there and the like. Mm, I will also briefly visit uh, Honor's farmstead, because I can't, can't train with the city militia anymore uh, on account of being a mercenary. I'm literally uh, you know, part of the peasant rebellion. So if I want to upgrade my one-handed weapon skill, I have to uh, train with a uh, cord, the mercenary. Nie trzeba mi więcej kłopotu. Hey. To przecież wiadomo. Mm, simple to steal his purse, okay? Chwila! Masz całkiem niezły cios. Czego chcesz ode mnie? I'm also, also going to sell uh, things to Halvor, the silverware. Nie wierzę w to. Gdybym sama tego nie widziała, to było przecież tak. Słyszałem, nie mój problem. Teraz każdy już o tym wie. Za to wszystko mogę ci dać. Dwieście sztuk złota. Tylko Inos wie, co jest dobre, a co złe. Sprzedano. Ubiliśmy ostatnio parę dobrych interesów. Lepiej już dziś nie wracaj, bo ktoś może nabrać podejrzeń. I will also visit uh, Ignaz to see if he has any potions of speed to sell. Because I have ridiculous amounts of gold, uh, and it would be a nice way to utilize some of it. Mm, simple to steal his uh, purse. Pokaż mi swoje towary. Oh yes. And also potions of health. I guess I I'll buy this as well. Transforming into the Dragon Snapper. Dragon Snapper is one of the most powerful creatures overall. It might be useful uh, in a pinch. Okay, now, do I have anything to sell? I'm keeping this. I will keep the rapier because it looks nice and I have fond memories of it. I will keep the bows that are better. I can sell Franco's am amulet. Um, Ring of the Spirit doesn't matter. Invincibility doesn't matter. Uh, some additional teeth and claws. I think one of the mercenaries later in the game buys horns of the Shadow Beast, so I'm not going to sell them now. I would be basically underselling them. Mm. 
Okay, and I guess this is a good opportunity to drink one of those speed potions. Okay, I might as well go through here and then go down near Bengar's farm. Because this is actually the plateau I mentioned with some of the monsters like lurkers and stuff. And lurkers should not be a problem at this point. Yeah, there is one of the stone tablets here, and I think there's one more, a bit deeper. The game crashed, so I have to redo a small bit. Hmm. I could have sworn there was another stone tablet somewhere around here, but I don't remember where exactly. Now, the most annoying, uh, the most annoying result of that crash is that my potion of speed has ended prematurely, because basically mm, the uh, temporary effects uh, that, that affect your character uh, don't transfer through reloads. That's a bit of an annoying trivia. Mm. Mm. I wonder if I would be strong enough to kill a dragon snapper. I somehow doubt it, but I will try. There is a dragon snapper in the woods here. I guess I can see how strong the claw of Belliar really is. Although it's more about damage done to me, because I'm pretty sure the snapper can kill, can kill me in just a couple of yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess I can kill it uh, when I upgrade my weapon skill, because I'm going to do that anyway. Hmm. That's exactly why I'm going to f uh, to Honor's farmstead in the first place, I think I'm going to dump all of my points into one-handed, actually. Mm, so I basically need to get to 70, uh, because the rest I can get 30% for free 
via the use of the stone tablets and the book in the upper city. One of the merchants in the upper city sells, sells a book that upgrades your one-handed by 5%. Uh, I don't think I have enough to do that yet, yet but I haven't done the math inside my head because uh, once I co cross the threshold of 60, uh, each point, each each, each percentage point is going to cost three landing points and now it costs two Trzymam się od tego z daleka. nawet nie wie jak się trzyma mnie. Mm. So wait, I can get to 41, that's 10, 45, 46, that's 20, 51, that's 30, 56, that's 40, 61, uh, that's 50, and then, then it's 15, so I can get to 66, which is close enough, I think. Odwiedziny u Dextera mam już za sobą. I? Nie żyję. Nie znalazłem żadnego śladu tego twojego Patryka. Dexter go zapamiętał, ale mówił, że Patrick od dłuższego czasu już ich nie odwiedzał. Masz pewność, że nie kłamał? Nie, ale żadnymi innymi informacjami nie dysponuję. Nie rozumiem, gość zaginął bez wieści. Twoja część umowy została jednak wypełniona. Co więc z próbą Torlofa? Wróć do niego. Próba zakończona pomyślnie. Mówiłem, że się tym zajmę. Okay, that's kind of hilarious, because I've done that ages ago. But still, it's basically free experience. Patrick wrócił. Hmm. Nie sądziłem, że go jeszcze kiedyś ujrzę. Zrobisz coś dla mnie? Jasne. Nie dziękuj mi. Nie miałem takiego zamiaru. Więc? Powiem ci tylko, że niezły z ciebie numer. Uważaj na siebie. I jak? Wszystko w porządku? Doskonale. Magowie wody pomogli nam wydostać się z tej przeklętej doliny. Jakie macie plany? Będę dalej walczył u boku Li. Pewnego dnia opuścimy tę wyspę. A później? Zobaczy się. Jeśli wojna wciąż trwa, pójdę walczyć z orkami. Ale kto wie, co się jeszcze wydarzy. Ok, let's dump all of my points. Naucz mnie walczyć. Into... Mogę cię nauczyć walki mieczem jednoręcznym. Do dwuręcznego brakuje ci jeszcze umiejętności. Nie marnuję czasu na amatorów. Mm, into one handed. So. Już I... jesteś lepszy. Tak trzymać. I have to calculate it so that, I, so that I don't cross the threshold. So that's I can go ten more. That'll be 56. And then I need to go three and then five. Um. Naucz mnie walczyć. Mogę cię nauczyć walki mieczem jednoręcznym. Do dwuręcznego brakuje ci jeszcze umiejętności. Nie marnuję czasu na amatorów. Ok, so I can now go uh, ten and then three and then wait, did I buy two handed? That would be a travesty. No, I don't think so. Wróć, kiedy nabierzesz trochę więcej doświadczenia. Wróć, kiedy nabierzesz trochę więcej doświadczenia. Już jesteś lepszy. Tak trzymać. Mm. Okay, so I'm, go I'm going to be missing 3%, which is going to annoy me, but I'm going to learn it later, 
at an at an even at an inflated cost of learning points because now if i use all of my uh tablets i'm going to have like 80 percent which is a lot better than 67 Yeah, 87, so that's basically a 20% upgrade. Mm. And I, I can also get 5 mm, from the book that's in Corinis. But that will be when I get back. I guess from now on I'll put points into the bow uh, when I get some. I should be deadly enough with, uh, with my sword. Do I want to fight the dragon snapper? Not really, because if he if he, if it kills me, then my uh, potion of speed is going to get cancelled upon a reload, which is a waste. Uh, so I guess I'll leave it be for now. Jesteś pewien, że chcesz tam iść? Obawiam się, że daleko nie zajdziesz. Po drugiej stronie stacjonują orkowie. Jeśli istnieje droga prowadząca do górniczej doliny, odnajdę ją. W porządku, więc idź. Niech Inos cię prowadzi. Jak wygląda sytuacja? Wszystko jakby się uspokoiło. Sytuacja jest pod naszą kontrolą. Ok. Now the frontal uh, approach is pretty much impossible at this point. And it's very much supposed to be impossible. Basically this, this whole chapter is dedicated to the feeling of, of being outmatched by the orcs and of creating this aura of dread. Although one orc I could take. Let's see what my luck is. Hmm. Yeah, actually, this is not bad at all. I might be able to, to take down most of them, really, uh, if I approach them slowly. Because the really huge numbers of the orcs uh, are starting on the other side of the pass. You can see a lot of dead bodies here. Uh, Okay, that's three of them. Damn it, I don't think I can take three. Which is a bummer because... Break! No! I need to run away to save my potion of speed. I guess th they will have to wait for another day to be killed. At this point, I treat my potion of speed as a greater commodity than my very life. Like, oh, come on! Okay, I should be able to maybe... Frick, I shouldn't have done that. Mm, one of them has literally died because he fell to death, which is not optimal at all.
uh, because that's basically 300 experience wasted forever. Uh, and my potion of speed is gone anyway, which made this whole endeavor pretty much pointless. However, I might be able to kill a few more of them if I'm careful. At this point it doesn't matter if I die. Because mm, the speed effect is already gone. Okay, that's, I think, too much. Oh, come on. I guess I stopped too quickly. Hmm. Okay, they, they have seethed their weapon. Uh, I should be able to run after them. and kill them before they rejoin the main group. A risky business to be sure, but definitely rewarding. You know, it's, it's 300 experience per one orc. So it is worth it in my book. Okay, this is this is definitely doable. I guess I should heal again. Okay, 
Okay, that's one clever shun. I wasn't expecting him to do that. One of them is doing parkour on top of that uh, rock. Which is fortunate for me because without it I wouldn't be able to kill it. And uh, that's the full healing potion. It's a bit of a waste, but well. And I think that's basically the main path cleared, but as I said, I'm going to go from the side anyway, uh, just because um, just because it's first of all safer, and second of all, um, it uh, there are some more uh, monsters and animals uh, up there. Nic tu nie ma, niczego Nic tu, nie tu nie ma.
nie ma czego plądrować. Nic tu nie ma. Niczego tu nie znajdę. Niczego tu nie znajdę. Basically, as you enter the Valley of the Mines, the time changes to night, I guess for, for dramatic purposes. Um, but also, you can see that the entrance is actually through the... Um, through the... what was it called? Uh, forlorn Mine? You know, the, the, the old mine that they, uh, that they used before the actual old mine uh, in Gothic 1. It has collapsed and uh, there was nothing here uh, apart from some rubble in Gothic 1, but I guess since they have cleared that and um, and they're using it to allow passage back to Corinis, what with the main path being controlled by the orcs. I will clear this part of the orcs as well, because I am definitely able to do that. And if I am, then... Quick! not use that opportunity for some experience. This is the old gate guarding the place of, place of exchange. I should be able to take two of them, provided that's all there is. I think that's all of them. And actually, here at the old place of exchange, there is a there is a leather satchel. Or at least there should be. Hmm. And maybe it only spawns later, but that wouldn't make much sense because it it's supposed. Ah, right over here, full leather satchel. I'm not going to open it because it's actually part of a quest and if I open it, its owner is going to be annoyed and I think give me less experience. Mm. There are some orcs on the approach as well, uh, I think, so I'm going to go and kill them for experience and whatnot. Now interestingly enough, uh, this place looks significantly different in Gothic 2 than it did in Gothic 1. Like I, by that I mean the actual topography of it, the the layout of the mountains and whatnot. I'm not sure what why that's the case, but I guess that's to um, 
Hmm. Yeah, I'm not, not sure why they did that, to be honest. Because uh, at first I was like... At first I was like, oh sure, they had to redesign it for the slope to be gentle, so that uh, you can walk up to it and down. But then, first of all, you enter from the side, usually at first, and second, you could just use the lift, which would be even more uh, like thematic and cool, because after all, that is how the nameless hero, uh, well, I guess, I guess he didn't, they threw him in. Uh, literally from the cliff, but m that's how most of the prisoners uh, entered the colony. Uh, you know, they were lowered on this uh, on this lift. So I'm not sure why they changed that. It's a little bit weird. Okay, this goes back to Corinius. Oh, there was a scroll here that I didn't see. Anyway, this is actually a very decent moment to drink yet another potion of speed because there's going to to be a lot of running involved. Uh, in reaching the paladins. After all, from what from what we know, uh, the castle is under siege. But before I even approach what used to be the old camp, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a rune of teleportation uh, back to the pass around here. Yep, indeed. And it's going to be of much use uh, later on. There might also be something up there, I don't really remember. So there used to be a small, small plateau up here, but I guess it might be unreachable now? No, it is. But I'm not sure if there's anything here. I guess that, that remains to be seen. Hmm, I guess there's nothing. You don't even have the best view, because... Mm. However, you can see behind the Orkish Palisade a bit, but you don't have the best view because obviously it's night at the time. You can't even see the old camp. Okay, I don't think I can safely drop from here. I must return the seat.
And so I guess I'm not sure why this triggered here. Uh, it's usually when you get down the road, but I guess it was close enough for the game to trigger uh, to show me the dragon attack. Uh, but what's interesting is that the the soldiers who, um, in the cutscene they wore the armor of the um, of the guards from the old camp back in Gothic One, uh, whereas in reality, you know, in in, in gameplay, if you talk to them, uh, they basically wear mm, the, the the armor of the militia, because I guess that's the the armor of the militia, militia and the and the the, 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 the like the lowly grunts of the king's army I, are basically the same, which was actually you know, his, historically true uh, for. For for the longest time, uh, like police as a separate separate force is very much mm, a young idea. Uh, previously, uh, it was basically during peacetime. Uh, it was the soldiers that kept watch over the towns and whatever. Uh, so so that totally makes sense. But in the cutscene, uh, in the cutscene, you could see them wear the old armor of the. Old camp. Mm, there's a dragon snapper here. Can I defeat it? That is the question. I'm tempted to try, but I'm also like worried because I, if I if I die, then my uh, then my speed potion effect is going to get cancelled. But there is a corpse of a paladin which is part of the quest. I think I'll risk it. Oh. Okay, that was tense. Oh, and my potion has run out anyway. Mm. And that's not even the corpse I was looking for, it's just a random paladin. And I was looking for one that has a name. Mm. So I guess that was kind of pointless, although not really, because I got 400 experience out of this, which is not too shabby at all. Now, I will use this, this spell to great effect in just a moment against the orcs surrounding the castle. Czemu tu tak stoisz? Przychodzę z zamku. Przysłali mnie, żebym poszukał zaginionych i sprawdził teren. Zaginionych? Niektórzy uciekli, kiedy zaatakowały smoki. Większości się nie udało. No i nic dziwnego. Jeśli jednak komuś udało się przeżyć, mam go sprowadzić z powrotem. Możesz mi pomóc dostać się do zamku? Pewnie, ale musisz coś dla mnie zrobić. Jeżeli uda ci się dotrzeć do zamku, porozmawiaj z Paladynem Orikiem. Powiedz mu, że jego brat poległ na przełęczy. Jak mogę dostać się do zamku? Po pierwsze zapomnij o drodze na wprost. Jeśli jednak obejdziesz zamek dookoła, może będziesz mieć jakieś szanse na powrót. Trzymaj się z dala od ścieżek i skorzystaj z rzeki. Najlepiej będzie, jak popłyniesz kawałek w dół strumienia. Stamtąd powinno być łatwiej. Orkowie ustawili za zamkiem taran. W ten sposób możesz się dostać do środka. Podkradnij się do orków tak blisko jak zdołasz, a potem biegnij ile sił w nogach. Jeżeli jesteś dostatecznie szybki, to może ci się udać. Co powinienem wiedzieć o tej okolicy? Wracaj skąd przyszedłeś, jeśli ci życie miłe. Zielonoskórzy już od kilku tygodni oblegają zamek, a smoki gdzieś się ukrywają. Cała górnicza dolina aż roi się od orków. Niezależnie od tego, dokąd zmierzasz, to nie będzie majówka. 
Now, it has never much, made much sense to me that the orcs mm, used their battering ram to try and bring down the wall as opposed to a gate. Like, shouldn't you use a battering ram to batter down the gate? Like, uh, what kind of a success can you expect uh, with knocking down a stone wall with a battering ram? Like, I don't, I don't think that's re reasonable. Uh, but then again, I'm not an expert uh, on sieges, so maybe I'm wrong. I just always found that weird. Mm, there is a cave uh, around here, and in it was also here in Gothic One. But, but in Gothic One, there was literally nothing inside. Whereas here, uh, you can find scroll of transformation into a dragon snapper which, as I said, is one of the most powerful creatures in this whole game. So that's actually quite a great item, if you really think about it, and might help you a lot if you're, you know, if you want to get rid of some particular tough, tough mon monster or, or something else. Um, I will try to kill a bunch of orcs with the fire rain spell uh, in just a moment, but for now I'll go around near the, the, the battering ram because there are still some monsters ar along the way that I can pretty easily fight uh, for some experience. I guess I, I, I can also fight, fight the orcs alongside the palisade because they are, they are less clumped together uh, alongside it as opposed to near the, the castle itself. Um, and I should actually be able to defeat them, uh, much as the ones uh, alongside the, the, the paths to Corinis. It will be a bit of a hassle, but it's definitely worth it uh, for the experience. And also, I must say, fighting the orcs is a bit exciting because you know, they are pretty tough um, and uh, it's a good risk-reward balance, basically. Uh, you feel this feeling of accomplishment whenever you bring one of them down. Mm, there's a bunch of other monsters ar around as well, but to be honest, none of them pose a significant threat to me at this point. It's, it's basically free experience, which I'm not going to, to say no to. Also interestingly, uh, the orcs actually keep uh, wolves as dogs, basically. Like mm, they they keep wolves as pets. What I meant is what I meant to say. But, but basically, I guess functionally mm, uh, saying that they keep wolves as dogs uh, also makes uh, also makes a certain amount of sense, despite despite how silly that sounds. Um, I've already earned a level. I won't close in into the castle yet, because as I said, uh, there's a bunch of more isolated orcs and other creatures uh, alongside the palisade. Um, and also, I think there's a way to cross it, which you are not supposed to do, because there's nothing uh, nothing behind it, but there is, uh, there is an easter egg message which I would like to show you if I can, but I don't remember the exact space at, w at which you're supposed to cross it, so I might not be able to do that. I guess I'll have to see.
Niczego tu nie znajdę. Nic tu nie ma. Okay, there's another, another dragon snapper uh, alongside the palisade, but I have proven that I am able to defeat it if I'm careful enough. Niczego nie można go kontrować. Regular snappers are not a problem at all at this point. Hmm. Orcs, however, are. Okay, that was pretty gnarly. Niczego tu nie znajdę. Mm, I might run out of healing items. I guess when I do, I'll finally go to the castle. Because there's a possibility of buying some more mm, inside. Okay, I can't take two at once, uh, two dragon snappers, which is interesting because I can't, ca I can take down two orcs at once, but not two dragon snappers, which is you know, an interesting commentary on the on their prowess or, or whatever. Uh, hmm, I don't remember where's the best place to try and cross the palisade. As I said, I'm not supposed to do that, so it's more of an exploit. But there's a cool easter egg on the other side that I would like to show if possible. Niczego tu nie znajdę. Overall, I, I love the feeling of progression in Gothic, you know, the way you gradually become stronger and uh, at the beginning an orc was basically a death sentence uh, and it still kind of is in larger groups, but I'm slowly getting there, I'm slowly getting you know, more and more powerful and I can, uh, if, I, if I do it smart, I can start to challenge them and it is a really cool feeling how uh, you steadily grow uh, in power uh, over time and how those dangers that would have ended you in seconds before uh, are now a formidable challenge but doable. I got too cocky there for a second. I'm not sure what's wrong with me, <laughs> although it's kind of ironic how I was talking about getting more powerful and now I'm getting my ass handed to me by those two orcs. <laughs> hmm. Okay, that's, that's kind of both embarrassing and kind of fascinating. Like, I'm not sure what's so different about this encounter uh, compared to all the others.
I think the best place to cross the palisade is somewhere down the river. Like there's like a something that kind of resembles a gate. Although maybe I'm misremembering it. I guess I'll have to wait and see. Overall, I'm doing quite well. I'm rather pleased with that. Hmm. I, rem I remember you had to climb one of those beams, kind of, like you jumped onto it and then you could jump higher later on. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm stuck, which is annoying. But I think it was later on, as I said, it, it was a structure kind of resembles a gate, and it was a little bit lower than those parts. At least that's how I remember it, I guess I'll see. Because the palisade uh, ends in just a little bit. Okay, I can't take them down. I guess what I can do is run alongside the palisade and see if there's this place that I remembered, if it even exists. Hmm. It might not, actually. Hmm. That's a bummer, to be entirely honest. Ah, right. The, the, there is uh, the river again, here. And I think this might be the place. Well, I guess it doesn't look like a gate at all, but it still might be the place. Uh, I have to run. There's no way I can defeat three or four of them at once. Even two is a challenge. Okay, that was close. Mm. So I guess I have to give up killing the orcs nearby for now, because uh, they are in two cl close, close-knit groups uh, now. You know, if there were only like two at a time, I could take them, but... Uh, Plus, there, there are those orc elites as well. Uh, but I think this is a place where you can cross the palisade, kind of. Although I might be misremember misremembering it, not sure. Well, there's only one way to know. Mm. 
Okay, I'm clearly getting somewhere. So let me save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. great. So uh, basically, uh, there should be the the, the camp on the swamp. Mm. But obviously, it's not here because there's nothing here. Uh, in reality, but there's the great river should divide into like this massive waterfall. Uh, as you can see, the palisade from the other side isn't even properly textured. There are two interesting things here. First of all, there is the quote, quote unquote death cave, but I'm not sure if, go if it's going to have anything inside. Basically, how uh, hmm, it's interesting that the basic topography is kind of still there. There is this little cave, which I don't think serves any purpose, but basically how transporting NPCs works in Gothic 2 is mm, if an NPC travels from one part of the world to the other, it is actually killed and a, uh, an identical NPC is spawned in the other map. So whenever something like that happens, the bodies are left in a, like a secluded location and this is one of those locations, but unfortunately uh, nothing like that has happened yet, so there are no bodies here. But for example later, when some of the NPCs from the Valley of the Mines travel back to Corinis, uh, you will be able to find their bodies over here. But that's not uh, the only thing that can be found here, because there is also this easter egg message that I mentioned. And it is this. Uh, okay, man, you made it beh behind the great orc wall. As you see, the story of the orcish hordes behind this wall is a complete fake. There is nothing more to find here. This place is abandoned. It's the end of the world. But me, a mighty alien dwarf, which is, which not, which not depends. What? Doesn't make sense. Which not depends to this game's story, and which name is not public interest here. I wanted to warn you, you've been tricked to believe a story which is not true. They want to get you. Do not believe anything they say. Keep your eyes open. The mighty alien dwarf. Now, the, if you remember, the mighty alien dwarf was also mentioned in the crypt near Onar's farmstead. Mm, so that's, I guess... Um, another reference to that. And with that being said, I guess this episode was long enough. I'm going to save it here. Mm, and end it for now. So that's all for this one. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.